So guys, welcome back to a new Tibo's vlog. This is Patrick Tibo. I'm 23 years old. If you didn't already knew, this is my YouTube channel. And in this video, I just wanted to check in with you guys and just tell you a little bit more about how the year have went so far and uh, what I think is going to happen in the next couple of months. Uh, right now, the 2020 started of me being an entrepreneur as always in the last three years and also uh, also having three two businesses up and running and one in the making and uh, the first was lotus media that i have been working with for three years has been my main source of income main job and then uh, is do i do i dot no is the is the high-end brand fashion store i have started and still working on to get complete and push out in the market in a perfect way and then we also have uh, a service called food to you it's going to be a type of fudura it's a food delivery service here on sutra where we're going to uh, try to deliver food for every every restaurant here in stroma so in January, the, the months, the, the days and weeks went to to two Coco businesses on the social media agency, having meetings and uh, also cold calling and getting meetings with uh, almost every restaurant in Ströma, uh, where I talked with them and 94% uh, of them were very positive, very, very positive on, on uh, getting a new uh, type of uh, type of uh, Food delivery service here on Ströma. Uh, I just want to bring out two very simple things about the, uh, the food delivery service that I think made it very simple for me to pitch it into the restaurants. It's very, it's actually many things. It, the first thing is, is it's free to set up. It don't cost anything for them to actually uh, set up the uh, to start to use us. And uh, we only take like twenty percent of the revenue collected through our page, and then of course we take the delivery fee. Uh, but there you, you you don't have to have like internal uh, expenses we don't have to raise expenses to to add more delivery guys or whatever the next thing was that we also going to do a lot of marketing into the page uh, where we're going to have displayed all the restaurant and we're going to do a marketing campaigns for all the restaurant with diff different dishes so we get a lot of attention and attraction into our page and uh, a lot of orders through our page so that was a very good thing for 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 the businesses to hear and and the last thing that I did the, do think the, put the put the nail in the coffin uh, is that the, we are very very targeted uh, to the to the environment we we are a green company so we're going to be, use l bikes we're going to use paper cups paper containers everything is going to be natural no plastic no gas in the cars to deliver the food everything is 100 percent green so that was very something that they did very like they did indeed like and the next thing the last thing was that we're going to donate five percent of the revenue uh, to a greener environment in Ström, uh, in the Ström uh, area. So they was they think thought and thinking they're going to contribute to to a greener environment. They are going to do that. We're going to leave a smaller footprint in the atmosphere by not using cars to deliver the food. So it was a very very easy thing to 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 sell in. And I was very really amazed of how easy shit can be sold and how hard something can be sold. So that was my game in uh, January. I talked with all the guys. Right now, uh, the website for that food delivery service are in the developing, but that will cost me like $15,000 in total. So it's a, it's a part-time pro project where I pay the developer in, 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 in parts so I can actually afford it and afford everything else I do. So that is something that's coming up whenever corona is gone again because right now we can't even start the business but that is actually a good thing for me right now because then we can finesse the website and everything about that the next thing bro that is that uh, the social media agency is running as it should have some couple co uh, customers there and uh, actually thinking about uh, just putting that down or just having the company to, to run money through it right now because in uh, february i got up to the studio in Lodifuel. It's a, it's a place in Bergen and uh, I walked into the studio and 
was was going to meet uh, meet uh, young Chess, the CEO now in P Daddy Promotions. That is the cousin to my girlfriend, and uh, he had his friend with him, Scarface, and they just started started banging out some songs they had recorded in the studio. And I was just sitting there, didn't try to seem too excited, but I couldn't hold it in because when I heard them motherfuckers, for every word they said, man. I just had kaching, 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 money, money, money. So that was changing the whole game, okay? So that is actually a thing I wanted to to get forward in this video. That is, when you're young and you don't have a lot of obligations, you don't have kids, you don't have everything that you have to take care of. When you're young, you're here to fail and try. So when I see a business opportunity and I really see money, I just go for it 100%. And I do it 100% until it don't work anymore. And then I do the next thing. And I don't let the failures uh, affect me in the na uh, last project. I let the wins in that project, the experience, take to, I take that with me into the new project and kill that project with no doubt. So that is what's the what is happening in 2020 right now. I had a lot of things going, but then I saw the biggest opportunity that I'm going to have in 2020, and that is P Daddy Promotions. And... Uh, that is why I want to talk to you now in the last minute of this video. What is going to happen with P Daddy Promotions in 2020? Because the thing is, right now I'm going to combine all the all the services or all the things we did in Ludus Media and, and convert that into the business of art, art, uh, artists and music. You're going to be a full, full, uh, full. Uh, uh, content uh, content agency where we're going to make music videos we're going to make everything in-house but right right now of course we have a low budget on the videos and everything as you can see but in the long run we're going to be a, a, a full service content a music artist label and so in the next couple months you can expect to see p daddy all over the internet every day every every week every month and you're going to see how um, we put in the strategies that I'm always talking about, 10x in your life, 10x in your mind. And you're going to see how that is going to help P Daddy Promotions becoming the biggest label in Norway in 2020 with no fucking problem. So again, man, just keep on watching and I'm going to show you guys all the strategies we use for P Daddy Promotions and every other business I run. You know that I'm here for you guys. That is why I'm sitting here making this video right now because I want to learn you that are watching this, how you can try and not be afraid to uh, fail and then just try again and try again and try again and try again. Because man, you only have to succeed once. And when, do, when you do that, everything else locks up, man. Every opportunity, every door opens. So as always guys, find your hustle, make your money and do whatever the fuck you want to do in your life, homie. Goodbye, man.